gosh it's been so long since i filmed a video i feel like i completely forgot <laughs> how to talk to a camera i feel like i have so much valuable information to share especially since buying a house and just the season of life i'm in i haven't shared anything about my wedding yet so that will be to come if you guys have any video requests just comment down below and i will add that to the list i am filming from my new house i guess it's not very new we moved here in november or end of october we bought a house in Nashville, Tennessee. It's currently snowing outside. I'm gonna make this video about the house and I'm gonna show you guys our unfinished home tour. We got married in August and then once we came back from the wedding, uh, I do real estate here in Tennessee. Once we came back from the wedding, I went straight back to work. I had showings in this area called Hendersonville, which is one of my favorite areas in Tennessee because of the school districts. It's up and coming. It's like the new Brentwood or Franklin of the northern part of um, Tennessee. And Hendersonville and Gallatin are like the new up and coming spots and that's where we moved and I absolutely adore living here. It's so nice to be away from the city because I feel like the city, it was fun, don't get me wrong. For a period of time, we lived in downtown uh, at the 505 apartments and then we lived in the Gulch at Novel Edge Hill apartments and it was so much fun. But you guys, we moved out of 505 because our parking was almost $300 a month and we wanted to get a second car. We had to get a second car, especially for me doing real estate. I needed another car, so it would have been $600 a month for parking. And then with the Gulch um, apartment novel, we were there for six months and that's when we bought this house, but our rent was about 2,500. And our mortgage, our mortgage, we're paying less than that for this house a month we're paying less than what we were paying for an apartment so if you're thinking about buying a house and you're qualified and able to um especially in nashville because of how expensive rent is it is the smartest thing you can do and we were in a small 800 square foot apartment it was one bedroom one bath and here we have a whole house in a backyard for tea so but back to where i was my best friend and her husband both bought a house here as well earlier in the year in march and so we we're familiar with the area and the neighborhood is super popular they have a pool they have a ranch house they have a gym it is the best neighborhood i knew that this area was so expensive and just completely out of our price range. And we've been kind of thinking at this point about buying a house. I came and talked to the other realtor, the listing agent for these houses, and she was basically like, yeah, um, today actually we dropped the price of this one house and it's a great deal, um, do you wanna look at it? And I was like, yeah, T. He's digging for his toys in his bin. In order to start building new lots, you need to sell um, some first. So. This one, they dropped the price, had a nice price reduction, and I was like, okay, what do we need to do to secure it today? This was in August, and the house was not completed yet because it's a new build. We had about three or four months until it'd be completed. And she's like, you just have to pay the deposit, and then you can figure out financing later. Um, you have you no know, financing contingencies. That will kind of back you up while you're talking to a lender and trying to figure out your money situation. So... I was like, Charlie, you need to come here. He was getting off work and I was like, you need to come to Hendersonville. He's like, are you crazy? I'm not coming to Hendersonville right now. I was like, yes, you are. He came, I showed him the model of the house and then I showed him this one and he was like, oh my gosh, like this is awesome. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna pay the deposit today. And he's like, you're not, you're actually crazy. And we paid the deposit and did an application. And so when you work with a new build company, Many times they want you to use their lenders and they give you incentives if you use their lenders. So we started the application process with their lender here with the new builds. And I'm a realtor, so I have commission-based um, sales and I'm on, I'm not on a W-2, I have, I'm basically self-employed. So my financing was a little bit more tough. Whereas Charlie's been on a W-2 for such a long time. Usually if you're about at two years of being on W-2, you will get a loan no problem. 
and so he had his but we just needed a little bit more um, financing and to figure it out and she said I don't know if I could do it there's a couple more things and so we ended up using a girl in California that my parents used when they bought their houses and she was able to get a loan for us we had two months to figure it out save up some money for our down payment and we ended up doing a conventional loan and got our house that's the story for another time also all the details on how that went you will never know unless you try especially if you are on salary or w-2 you are most likely going to be able to figure out a way to get a loan and it's the most satisfying thing because you own the house and you're paying mortgage, which is pretty much the same as most people are paying for rent. These houses are actually villas, so they're houses, but they have two sides that are connected, or sorry, one side that's connected, so it's not a townhouse. We don't have people on both ends, but we are connected to one other house. So our square footage is about 2200, I think. So I'll show you guys the unfinished house tour. As I start getting more furniture in, as I start getting, you know, a little bit more creative with the house, I'll definitely be showing that, but as of now, I just want to show you guys what we have, what the house layout looks like, what you're able to get in Nashville as a 20, we were, I was 23 years old at that time. I was 23 and Charlie had just turned 25 and we were able to buy a house. It's just been so rewarding. That was definitely a goal of mine and you know, the fact that we were able to purchase a house was just awesome. We'll be able to rent it out in the future if we ever move back to California and it's just gonna be a great spot to you know, raise a family and just see where it takes us. So let me show you the unfinished house. Oh my gosh, it's snowing. Can you see that? I don't know if you could tell. Oh, maybe you can tell this way. There's so many houses still being built in our neighborhood. It is not even close to being completed. So if you guys are interested in our neighborhood, just let me know. So we do have an HOA that we pay. We pay an association and they take care of our front yard and our backyard. Can you say welcome to my crib, MTV Cribs? We do have a ring camera that came with the house. It was kind of like our closing gift, which was awesome. Right, T? Feel very safe in here with that. So right when you walk in, we do have vinyl flooring. It is gray, kind of. Every house here has either one model or the other. Right when you walk in from the front door, there is a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Right now, this is our guest bedroom, just right next to the outside. And I haven't put up curtains in this room because I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. But this is our old queen bed that we put into this room because we got a king mattress that just came in and we're waiting on our bed. And this is a crate and barrel rug that I am waiting to return. I got this gray rug thinking it's gonna look good with that vinyl flooring, but it just does not look good. I I don't know what rug to get with this flooring besides a white rug. So I think it's probably just going to have to be a white rug. There is a closet in here. It's empty. This is the guest bathroom. Got this little dish at Target. And then that's our shower. So this bathroom has a bathtub, which is nice. So we do have one bathtub in the house. I really like the speckle. I haven't really been a fan of the silver handles, but it's kind of like a gold silver if that makes sense it's not like a full-on silver and i think it matches this really well so i don't think i'm going to change it and then we have a linen closet here and then we have a shoe closet like i said our house is not even close to finished there's so much i want to do with it it's just like the foundation that's there this is the two-car garage so I think what we're gonna do here is end up painting the garage. I guess when you buy a new house, most of them don't come with a painted garage. You have to paint it yourself. And then what we wanted to do is transform the floors into like a gym flooring and end up having a gym in here. But that's, you know, in the future. As of right now, it's just a bunch of storage. As you walk in to the left, you have the upstairs. And then to the right, we have the office. Office is with these like double doors, which is nice. So this isn't considered a room because there's no closet in there. So technically our house is two bed, two bath, but we also have the bonus room upstairs and this room. I honestly think it feels like we have four rooms, but it's considered two bed, two bath. 
currently a disaster in here. I need to buy some storage for books. We have tons of stuff in here that we just need to organize. I have my closing gifts in there. Charlie has his work computer and just a bunch of stuff. This chair is actually amazing. It's from Amazon and it is so soft. It's one of those chairs where you can sit crisscross. As I said, the stairs is up there. Actually, let's go look upstairs. I feel like it would have been nice if there was a bathroom up here, but there isn't. I do love that they didn't put any carpet on the stairs and they just had the carpet start up here. As you can tell, our storage is here because <laughs> Charlie rolled the suitcases. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath right now. Three closets. So this one is the water heater, boiler, water heater. Next closet is just... I don't even know what we're gonna do with it. I feel like this is where the bathroom should have been if there was a bathroom upstairs. We could always probably install it, it's just probably be like $10,000 or a little bit more. And then the next one is a closet as well. This is where we have so much stuff in storage. Here is where we store our suitcases, our Christmas decor. It's just all of our insulation in here, which I love that they put some plywood down and you can store stuff in here. And then this is the bonus room. I could either turn into an office and a movie room, like we can get a TV, a couch, and have an office work desk in here. I do not know what to do with it yet, so if you have any advice, Comment down below on what you do with your bonus room. This is very, very common with houses in Tennessee. Most of them do have bonus rooms. Ours isn't over our garage, but it's always like the front room over the garage. They call it the frog. And then we also have more insulation in here. I guess in Tennessee, it's a law that you need to have a little closet like that. These are our neighbors out there. They're a bit close to us. Closer than I would want them to be, but you know. You win some, you lose some. Coming down, we have the kitchen, the living room, very open concept, which I love this type of layout because you can host and hang out with everyone. And then we have our laundry room and our pantry over here. This pantry is not my dream pantry. I have so many ideas for what I wanna do with the pantry. I'll show you guys a picture so you know what I'm talking about. I want all of this wire just covered and that's just gonna be a weekend project because it's gonna take a little bit of work and I don't think I have all the tools to do it but I really want this wiring covered up. Same with in the laundry room, I want that covered up and I actually want a lower shelf so I don't know how to do that or what I would do but I don't like how high that shelf is. It's so much harder to kind of reach up. I know that's first world problems, but you know, sometimes you don't wanna to have to deal with that. These are our washer and dryer. So the washer and dryer we purchased ourselves. Ooh, I think it was Costco that we got them from. My parents have the same ones and I can only say good things about this specific washer and dryer. We have Titan's a little sleeping spot. We do close this when he's sleeping because he just wanders around the house. When he has a lot of room, he just wanders. You just wander, don't you? And then this is just such a closet underneath the stairs. We just have like our Costco extras. And then I have Titan's stuff in some of these drawers and like cleaning stuff, I don't even know. It's like a junk drawer basically in here. This is my old dresser. And then here's our lovely kitchen. Gosh, it looks so gloomy in here because of outside, even with the lights on. So I haven't gotten any fixtures yet. As you can tell, it's all the lights that it came with, but I do want a light over the dining table. And I'm still trying to find the perfect one, but I feel like it's gonna make the house look so different when there is something over that table. I do not know what to get yet. We'll see. We have a nice sink. It came with a gas stove oven. It came with the microwave. It came with the fridge and the dishwasher. The only thing that the house didn't come with is a washer and dryer, which was so awesome for us, so we didn't even have to buy a refrigerator. Um, lots of storage, like I said, on my crate and barrel. Dishes, if you guys want more in-depth things of what I have, um, just let me know. Probably not gonna get into any of that today, but my dad did install a trash can that comes out, which I feel like it's essential. After living in apartments, all of our apartments have had it. It was just weird not having it, and we ended up installing it. I think it's like 50 bucks from Home Depot, and it is so worth getting. Another first world problem, but you know, 
trying to work smarter, not harder. Here's the dining area. I am still kind of working on it. Chairs are from Crate and Barrel. This table is from CB2. It's been with us since our first apartment in Nashville at the 505. It's so tiny. I'm looking to upgrade that right now. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna get, but I feel like this area does need a circular table. It does not look good with anything else because of the way that this nook is shaped. And when you go to see the model house, they have a circle table there as well. It's from Wayfair. That's from Home Goods. I actually ended up finding a silver huge mirror and then I spray painted it myself. So a little DIY project. And then this is from Pottery Barn and this is from Crate and Barrel. And that is our living room. So we have the same couch that we have had since the 505, I think. And it's from Ashley Furniture. I'll link it below for you guys. And it's really comfortable. I just think that it's probably gonna go upstairs for the future and we'll get a new one from here. I just hate how these couches that are so soft, once you sit on it, you have to fluff it every single time. And my OCD cannot with like seeing it kind of lazy and slouchy. I always want it to look like tip top shape. So we'll probably get something that does not kind of form to when you sit on it. And then we put our TV up there and I wanna get a TV stand or something below it. My dream would be to get a fireplace that kind of comes out of here. But I think that would be probably if like we had a more long-term house, I would probably do that. And I also need to hide that cord because I look at it every day and it bothers me so much. It just has to be gone, like cover. I got my curtains from Amazon. These ones are from Amazon. And then the rod is from Target. It's my favorite one. I have it in every room of the house. Walking over here is our master bedroom and our just coat closet. And we have workout equipment in there. Hey T, hi buddy. I was honestly waiting to film this video till my bed came in because I was so embarrassed by the fact that we have a mattress on the ground. I've gotten made fun of for in my last home tour about our bed being on the ground before we got our other bed. And now look at this again, we have a mattress on the ground. This duvet is so fluffy. It's from Crate and Barrel. We got this texture. I think I got it on sale to be honest. These pillows kind of match that texture. And then we have our walk-in closet in here. That's my side. And then <laughs> that's Charlie's side. This is our next project right there. This dresser I got from Walmart. Yep, Walmart. It is actually such nice quality. And then I ended up switching out the hardware. I can link the dresser below for you guys, but the hardware is just from Home Depot. It's so easy and cheap. I'm pretty sure I saw a dresser like that on Crate and Barrel that, that was like $1,000. Here's our bathroom. It's the same as the other bathroom matching. I do like the sink. So like I said, it's not gold, but it's not silver. They're like an in-between color. Brass? No, because brass is too dark. I don't know, I really don't know. But we have two sinks, tons of storage down below. Honestly, my organization has been rough. I went to the container store and got some organization, but probably need to do a little bit better of a job. That's our walk-in shower. I feel like they did such a good job on matching everything. The color of this matches the sinks, and it just all looks good. And then there's a nice little step. And then here's our bathroom. I love that it's its own little room. You can just have some privacy in there, you know? T, are we done? Are we done with the house tour? Closing out, I hope you guys enjoyed this house tour. It is just such a cute little home. I mean, it's nothing crazy. I just am so happy that we are now paying a mortgage and we're just paying towards this house instead of paying rent and just throwing away the money. I could do a whole video on the rent versus buy process or how much money you're losing and making if you're renting versus buying that's a whole topic i'm very passionate about so if you guys want a video on that let me know down below i'll probably link some things from this video if you guys have any other links that you want just let me know in the comments and if you have questions video requests as always put that down below as well like and subscribe to this channel and i hope that you guys enjoy this video